Come in. What can I do for you, Pearson? There was some ruckus with that Von Hess fella. Yeah. Funny how he just happened to get caught back there like that, huh? Yeah, it was funny that way. I got a little something for you. I don't know why I pocketed this, but I did. I got mad when Ness handed that crowd over to Winslow. So I kept it. This will probably do you more good than it will me. I don't know what it is, but I saw the crowd drop it. He seemed plenty upset when he couldn't find it. Thanks, Detective. This might be a big help. Do you know what happened to the medallion Von Hess had on him? What? The medallion. It was shaped like an iron cross. He had it with him at the party. Sorry, kid. I don't know anything about that. But if uh, he had it with him at the party, the FBI should have found it when they tossed him. I'd like to see the evidence in the torso case. <laughs> yeah, right, kid. Why would I need another Fed interfering in my investigation? One's plenty. Because I think I can help you. You know, kid, you made me curious. Why do you need to see the torso evidence? Oh, come on, detective. You smelled a rat ever since my man's head turned up in a box. My case is all wrapped up in this torso killing business. You know it, I know it. All I'm asking for is a little help. Let me see the case file. If anything in my investigation turns up that should have a bearing on your case, you'll be the first person I come to. Or, if you prefer, I can go straight to Winslow. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to like you, Pearson. You'd have made a good cop. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can help me. Nothing like getting a fresh pair of eyes on it anyways. Here you go. Knock yourself out. Have you found any similarities among the torso victims? Hard to tell what with the little bits left of them. Only stiff we positively identified other than your man was the killer's first victim, a kid named Angelo Santini. What do you make of that one? Kid was a street hustler, a petty thief. At first we thought maybe he crossed the wrong man, but when the other bodies started popping up, we knew Santini wasn't a revenge killing. We don't have a whole lot else on him. Hmm. I wonder if this Santini's home bears checking into. Any crime scenes bear checking into? Funny you should mention that, because there was one place I was just thinking about checking again. We found a few bodies around the pond just off of Kingsbury Run. The sewers all run into it. We thought he might be using them, but there are miles and miles of them. You might want to try checking them yourself. What about the newspapers? Damned if I know, kid. It's the strangest thing. The bodies came wrapped in them. Now, we thought he might be leaving behind a clue for us, but we haven't been able to figure out a pattern. Papers came from all sorts of different times, different places. Nothing sticks out. Maybe you can figure out a connection. I'll do my best.
Where's the rest of the evidence? What do you mean? It's all there. Well, unless the killer changed his methods just for Lewis Fisher, the rest of them should have been found wrapped up as neat as a butcher's steak. Oh, nothing slips by you, does it, Hotshot? Thing is, that's all I've got. Winslow's been stalling with the evidence from Louis' murder for weeks. Says his boys have it in the lab. Now, if I was the cynical type, I'd say he was withholding evidence so I couldn't find the killer. I'd say he was trying to hog the credit for himself while we work and stiffs do all the work. But that'd just be if I was cynical. Thanks, Detective. Anything for you, kid. Jimbo! What can I do you for? I'd like to see the evidence in the torso case. Jimbo, that's hardly your jurisdiction. True, but I believe there's a connection between my case and your killer. That doesn't seem very likely. How do you figure? Well, there's the Lewis Fisher murder. Lewis Fisher worked at many different places and made quite a few enemies. It doesn't surprise me that the torso killer was one of them. Detective Merlo tells me you've still got some of the evidence in the torso case. Our boys are going over the evidence very thoroughly. We've had a late start on this case. Merlo's been working on it far longer than us and he's gotten nowhere. Now that we've been called in, we intend to do the job right. If there's one thing in this world I can't abide, it's incompetence. Oh, so it's not because Detective Merlo has a leg up on you like he says. I'm going to be the man to catch this killer. But I suppose I should look into it and make sure my men return the evidence once they're done with it. What happened to Von Hess? We're questioning him right now. I imagine he'll be sent back to Germany shortly. Did he spill anything? Said he had every right to be at that party. Won't say what he wanted in that back room, though. Did you find anything on Von Hess? No, nothing important. Just some papers, money, that sort of thing. No medallion? Well, yes, now that you mention it, he did have some sort of cross on him. Why? What's so important about it? I think that medallion plays a part in my investigation. I'm, I'm not sure what just yet, but I'd like to get my hands on it. Oh, no, that's not too likely. Now, he may have had his hand caught in the cookie jar, but he's still an important diplomat. Now, we just can't pass around his personal belongings now, can we, Sport? He stole that medallion. Do you have any proof of that? No. Then I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. What happened to Mr. Penske? What did the Bureau do with him? Why, whatever you talking about, Sport? Why was Mr. Penske moved from his room at Sunnyvale? <sighs> Look, now, I don't have any idea what it is you're all worked up about. Last I heard, he was shipped off to a sanitarium after his crack-up. Now, if he had been moved, I'm sure it was due to his doctor's recommendations. 